exporting is hugely important for us in the West Midlands. We are going to see, I think, fairly sluggish growth here in the UK given the scale of government's cuts coming through. There's uncertainty as well in our major export markets in the US, in the Eurozone. We've got to look much further afield to find exports. But the way we can rebalance this economy and get a driver of growth here is in terms of manufacturers really going for it on exports. That's going to boost employment here if they can do it successfully. One of my concerns is that support for business may be cut too hard. So with the abolition, for example, of the regional development agencies, a lot of support for manufacturing here in the West Midlands may effectively disappear. And the new fund that's available to support business is considerably less than the one that was before. So I've got concerns that we are cutting too much too quickly, especially in support for business. So there's one issue there. One thing I think the government could do more of is to support our exports more. So in terms of export credit guarantees, they could be more generous, and I think the government could do more to help companies find new markets overseas. Biggest challenge, I think, is a slowdown in the global economy, in the UK economy as well, given the scale of the cuts that are coming in and a reduction in confidence. It's about getting through what's going to be a period of quite slow growth, I think. There are opportunities overseas in terms of some rapidly expanding markets like China. It's about trying to get into those markets. I also think we're very good at certain things, whether it's prestige products like uh, automotive cars here in the West Midlands, Jaguar Land Rover and so on. Some markets will be going, growing abroad. They can tap into those markets. There's also the opportunity of green technologies to get into as well. I think that's going to be that low carbon agenda, I think, is a big uh, issue for the future.